Hey everybody, welcome back to my channel, The Lotus Doll Shop's Balanced Lifestyle Channel. Today I've got a vlog for you. There has been much going on over these past, this past like week and a half. Um, so I wanted to kind of share some of the things that I have been doing. Um, your girl got outside a little bit, so we're going to talk about that. But before we get started with that, make sure you hit the subscribe button, hit the notification bell so that YouTube can let you know every time I post a new video and give me a thumbs up. Let me show you what's been going on. <laughs> I went over to the Spring Cinema and Tap House to check out the new John Wick film. It's in Sandy Springs, Georgia, my old stomping ground where we used to live. Great place. You can sit outside and eat. You go into the spot, guys. You can order hot dogs. You can order popcorn. You can order tap beer, craft beers, things like that. Take it in and there's a tray for you to sit and watch the movie. It's a really great place. You guys got to check this out if you're in Georgia. So I went over to Sufi's before my Atlanta Film Festival event. This is a Buckhead Staples, been here since I moved here in 98. I have been dying to try this Persian restaurant. Guys, um, I had the Kash Badamjan for an appetizer. This stuff was absolutely delicious. It came with the mint, it's got eggplant, it's got yogurt. It's so good, y'all know how I like to eat it. <laughs> also for the actual yes. entree, I had the chicken kuba de kebab. That chicken was good and spicy with the saffron rice, so good. So as part of the Atlanta Film Festival, I went to downtown Atlanta to check out Kiki Palmer's new Big Boss movie at the Rialto Theater. So this was a really, really nice event, guys. You go in, this is the red carpet, um, over in the corner there under that Atlanta Film Festival sign, Kiki was taking pictures um, with a bunch of fans. Um, so uh, this is me just going up the stairs, checking out the event about to walk over in to the auditorium. Atlanta Film Festival had a bunch of different events going on. This is the one I decided on. Um, so this is the closing night presentation of her movie, The Big Boss. It was really, really nice after we watched the film. Um, Kiki and a couple people, that's Tricky Stewart right there next to Kiki on the right. Uh, that is the um, the head of the Atlanta Film Festival over to the far right. Kiki was looking good, honey. After she had that baby, she is looking so good. I was happy to be a part of this. I worked background on Single Ladies and Kiki was in that. It was nice. So I went over to the Whole Foods after doing some Saturday errands. It was just so close to where I was going and I had my grocery list with me and I said, you know what, let me go in here and see what they got. I picked up some cereal, I picked up some greens, some bread, and a couple of protein drinks. Guys, $38. Y'all know I'm all about saving money. So I said, you know what, let me see if there'll be any more difference from my regular Trader Joe's shopping that I might do, Publix, you know, Walmart, things like that. It's very weird how in one grocery store you can pick up some organic bread for like three, four dollars and you go to another grocery store and the organic bread is five dollars. <laughs> so I came back to this aisle back here. I was looking for my my plant-based heavy cream that I like. None of the bigger brands that you know are in Whole Foods, but I managed to find some decent stuff. So to me, there's not much difference between a place like this and Trader Joe's and Publix. But if I go into Walmart next door, I might've got a different deal. <laughs> So I went over to the at-home store, one of my favorite home shopping places, to find some stuff for the living room. And I ended up finding a whole bunch of other stuff that I wasn't trying to get, but I did. <laughs> so, I mean, I like being able to shop over here because they always have some of the best deals. You can decorate your home on a decent budget. I just love at home. It's so great.
All right, so this is my hallway. It is a very, very long, long hallway. I've got two walls that I need to fill here in this hallway. I found that mirror there at, at home, but you guys, I showed you that in a previous video. And I said, you know what, what am I gonna, what am I gonna do with this hallway? One, I think I'm definitely gonna put a rug down. So I'm gonna show you that in a couple of minutes. And I think what I want to do is maybe get some type of greenery and put it in the, which probably, I wonder if it even makes sense because there's no real natural light in the hallway aside from what's coming from the kitchen. So I gotta figure something out. But meantime, between time, I bought a really pretty rug and I'm gonna get to putting it down here in the hallway and I'll show you guys what that looks like. So this is the rug that I chose from at home. The deal was incredible. This is a seven feet long rug. And I did it without even trying again, guys. Look at the pattern on there. All diamonds, interwoven. And there's just like a little weave of black on the back of it, but that's the diamond in the middle. So again, I did it without even trying. Diamonds on your rug in Morocco represent protection from the evil eye. So I did it again. I just like the, the pattern. It just looks really good. Um, some of the area rugs that they had had these really pretty diamond prints on it too, but I love it. Look at that. The little tassels on the end. It's really nice detail on it. And guys, if you have an at home in, in your city, please go. If you're looking for a way to decorate your home, you know, on a decent budget, <laughs> they're a great place to start from. So I'm gonna be happy. It's nice to have something when you wanna walk throughout your house, you know, and just your, with your, your tootsies. <laughs> Cause I don't wear shoes in the house, so it's beautiful. I am happy. So now I just need something for this wall and this wall and possibly a little plant or a couple plants or maybe some, I don't know, a vase somewhere. We'll see, but I'm pretty happy. Yes. <laughs> All right, guys. So I didn't show you guys the before, or maybe I did in the previous video and I don't remember. And after this is what I have done in my closet. Oh my gosh. Um, so I just kind of organized things by color as best that I could. Um, just tried to make some room. I found this great little shoe shelf over at uh, at home. And you guys saw that I went on a little shopping expedition at home. <laughs> so I put it together. And honey, I'll be honest with you. I wish they had it in white number one or cream. And I needed to be a little higher because I have more shoes. They're over there in that corner. <laughs> So yeah, and this is the mirror. Y'all know that famous mirror from some of my uh, what's new in my closet videos. And um, yeah, one of those is coming up shortly. <laughs> I found this great little um, sunglass holder over at Amazon. It's amazing what you can find for your home at a decent price if you really look around, you know? So this, these are my dresses, my jump shoot, jumpsuits and things like that. Um, there's some little storage right there. Now, this thing with all of my purses, well, my clutches and my sweaters, I had no idea I had this many clutches, guys. There are clutches in the front 
and clutches behind the clutches. <laughs> so that is what that looks like. Oh, I forgot to show you over here. These are purses. So I'm waiting for my complex to put my shelf in over here. I'm waiting for them to put my shelf in right here and then I'll be able to kind of get those purses that are a little bit congested from over here. But um, this is what I did with the hat rack that I bought from um, from Timu. Guys, I got more hats. Look at the hats right here. I got so many hats. I think I'll probably need two of those guys, really. So yeah, that is what I did in my closet. I've gotten a little bit it's tight in here guys but they say you're supposed to kind of move your your clothes and everything around it's a little bit more storage up there you move your clothes and everything around in terms of just kind of like if I'm not wearing this if I haven't worn it in a year get rid of that get rid of that so yeah this is what I did in the closet and like I said next up is my bedroom making some changes uh, got to do some painting and I am going to be um, changing out the bedding yeah so my closet so I kept talking to you guys about this living room wall I found these circular miracle circles is what they're called from an art collective based out of Texas, I believe, over at At Home. Watch what I do with these, and it came out perfect. I love it, check it out. So this is my bare sofa. I am going to change the pillows out, I think. <laughs> um, yeah, please forgive the plug over there in the corner. <laughs> so I found these really pretty springish, summerish, floral um, pillow covers at Shein and they were a steal. They're so beautiful, filled with color. I can't wait to put them on the sofa. I found this really animal printed pillow. I don't even know what this animal print is to be honest with you, but I loved it. I found them at Z Gallery. They were supposed to be for the bed, but the sofa's gonna get them. Check it out. So I said I was gonna change out the pillows, but at first I tried this. I love this pillow so much. I'm just trying to figure, I was trying to figure out how I wanted to incorporate it into what I'm doing with the new pillows. Um, so I played around with it, kind of looking to see what it would give. All right, guys, so this is the new setup in my living room. At first, I was like, the pillows that I showed you guys, um, at first I said, okay, I don't wanna do pillow overkill. So I nixed the middle pillow and I said, well, these nice floral pillows have that gold in them. So I'll add that along with the pretty animal print pillows that I got from Z Gallery. And I said, yeah, we, we gonna work it like this. So I think that this is gonna work out. Now, um, 
The only thing that I'm missing, I think, would be a really pretty throw. Here's looking at you, yellow. Or maybe even pink. Who knows? But yes, I like it. I like it a lot. And yes, I love my new Miracle Circles on the wall. And I looked at those at, at home so many times when I went there, but I was too hell bent on getting like this really big, um, I guess rectangular painting that I even, I didn't even think about this as an option, but I really, I like this. I like the circles. They're a little bit different. So yeah, yeah, we can work it like this. I'm loving it. I'm loving it. It's pretty. Yes. Ah! <laughs> All right, guys, so that is all I have for you on today's vlog. Um, hopefully there'll be more events coming up for spring and summer. I'm definitely looking forward to getting out of the house a little bit more. Um, make sure you guys check out like places like At Home and Amazon and Teemu for all your shopping. Like you can really do some really good home decor from places like that. It's 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 really cool how you know things are, can be affordable if you know where to look. You know, um, so please check out all my affiliates and their discounts down below in the description box. Make sure that guys, if you're doing your spring and summer shopping, to check out my boutique, the Lotus Doll Shop Boutique on Poshmark at La Doll LA, and. I hope you had a most enjoyable time. Thank you for watching.